in order to find out the minimum reflux ratio an analytical method has been developed by Underwood so we know that uh, when there's a, when it when it is operating at minimum reflux ratio then there is going to be infinite number of transfer units or infinite number of plates so in graphically we can show this one so when doing showing this in graphical method first of all we have to draw the Q line so we have to find Q and then the Q line can be drawn and then we have to draw the top operating line we know it will go through the point XD XD and finding the gradient or the intersect using the reflux ratio but what we have to remember or what we have to identify here is that the Q line and the top operating line is going to intersect at the point of that those uh, at the point where the Q line cuts the equilibrium curve so as we know the bottom operating line will also go through this intersect so ultimately the Q line the top operating line and the bottom operating line all are going to intersect at the point where they are going to cut the equilibrium curve of X and Y so this point where these three equations coincide can be called as the X dash and Y dash so the X dash and Y dash can be shown as like this so as this X dash and Y dash is satisfied or as all these equations or all these graphs is are going through this X dash Y dash point this point this x dash y dash point will satisfy all these three equations that is the top operating line bottom operating line and the q line so therefore uh, we can use this x dash and y dash coordinates in all these equations so first of all we can use this one for the top operating line so as a result we will get our top operating line as this that is y dash will equals to r over r plus 1 into x dash plus 1 over r plus 1 into x d x d is the concentration of the top product so this one will be our top operating line now in the same manner this x dash and y dash coordinates or this intersecting point is going to satisfy the Q line as well so we will get our Q line like this that is Y dash will equal to Q over Q minus 1 into X dash minus 1 over Q minus 1 into XF so XF is the concentration of the feed so this one will be our Q line so now what we are going to do is to eliminate this y dash so we can eliminate this y dash by equaling because this y dash will equal to this y dash in the q line so these two equations will uh, are equal to each other so that we can remove y dash from our equations so after uh, equal, equalizing those two equations that is now this is the top operating line and this is the Q line so now these are going to be equal so now what we are going to do is to bring this X dash into one side actually what we are going to do is to find out the value for this X dash so here there is one X dash and there is another X dash so we are going to bring these two into this point and the others are point others are going to be in the right hand side so from here it is just a matter of doing some calculation uh, rearranging the terms in the equation 
so that finally we will be able to get a value for our x dash so finally the x dash will be given in terms of xf xd r and q so this is the relationship between x dash and these parameters in our equation now after finding out a value for x dash then our objective is to find out a value for our y dash right so from the top operating line that we uh, derived or that we obtained initially because this y dash and x dash points are satisfying the top operating line so that we can write the top operating line as y dash equals to r over r plus 1 x dash plus x d over r plus 1 so instead of x dash now we are going to substitute the value that we obtained in the previous step so instead of x dash uh, the previously obtained terms are used so that now the equation is uh, this equation will will provide us a value for y dash so this is a bit complex so what we just have to do is to simplify this equation so uh, there's not uh, big calculations are there just rearranging and simplifying the terms so as a result finally what we are going to get is a value for y dash so now we have got obtained a value for x dash and y dash so x dash and y dash are the points where top operating line q line and the bottom operating line are going to intersect and it is located on the equilibrium curve so that is what you have to remember all these three equations are going to intersect on the equilibrium curve and that points coordinates can be given by this relationship so the y dash relationship is given by this one and the x dash relationship it is given by this one so now as I said at the point where we are going to get the minimum reflux ratio or RM then these two points that is X dash and Y dash should be located on the equilibrium curve that means X dash and Y dash are in equilibrium so up to now what we just obtain is a relationship with using the top operating line and the Q line so there there's nothing uh, located to there's nothing with connection to the equilibrium between these two so th those two equations do not give us any clue or any idea stay saying that these are going to be located on the equilibrium curve so therefore we have to use the relative volatility to get a uh, express the equilibrium relationship between these two so the equilibrium relationship between x dash and y dash have to be expressed using relative volatility so these things have been discussed in the first lectures the first handouts uh, this alpha a b or the relative volatility is described there the relative volatility is described there so alpha a b or rel volatility of a to uh, rel volatility of a is y a over x a then volatility of b is this so the relative volatility can be described as this so by simplifying this one because x b should be equal to 1 minus x a why this is a binary system so that x a plus x b is going to be 1 in the same manner 
वाई ए प्लस वाई बी इज गोइंग टू बी वन दे फॉर इंस्टेड ऑफ वाई बी एंड एक्स बी वी कैन यूज वन माइनस वाई ए एंड वन माइनस एक्स ए सो नाउ अवर टर्म और अवर इक्वेशन इज गेटिंग बीट सिंपली सो एज अ रिजल्ट वी कैन rearrange this equation saying that ya over 1 minus ya will equal to alpha ab xa over 1 minus xa so generally we can get this relationship so this is a general situation or general equation